on a Canon EOS R6 with a 16mm 2.8. Just did a, just doing a follow video to the last video I just did. Showing that you can use this video camera for vlogging. This is an on enhanced stabilization. Enhanced stabilization right here. I don't even have a, a microphone. Just throwing a quick video up just to show you. Walking around the town a little bit here. Showing you what it looks like. Is it usable? I mean, I'm not trying to be super careful. I'm walking normal. It works great for vlogging. No wobbles in the sides, as you can see. So what do you think? And it's full frame. Now, obviously, if you want more lens choices, then the A6700 is the way to go, bar none. Because they have many more choices. And that's, that's, your, that's your ticket. But if, if you only need a few lenses, like 16, 35, 15, and 85, if that's all you need, right? If you don't need big zooms and all this, this will work fine for you and you can get full frame. So just wanted to throw a quick video up so you can see this in action. This is just using the uh, regular mics, internal, nothing special, straight up 16 millimeter 2.8 on the Canon SR8. What do you think? I mean, it works for me. Does it work for you? 100 bucks more than the 6700, but you got full frame. But if you're in the APS-C and that's your thing, and you like that, then, I mean, this is a compact setup too. But, I mean, that's going to be a great camera, and uh, oh, well, it's going to be, it's, it's a nice upgrade. But, to like the ZVE-10 or something. But, as far as video quality-wise, you're not going to get much better video quality than the ZVE-10. You're just going to get more functionality. And that's what you're going to get out of it, is functionality. Uh, options, specs, things like that. But as far as video quality goes, that's not going to be much better. You're going to just get max specs. More frames per second and things like that. But uh, that's the fun part, right? Some of that. Playing with playing with cameras. But for your workflow, if all you need is 24p, then you can go to the ZVE-10. You know, you can do that route. And it save a lot of money. But if you want full frame, you want more options, shooting more low light, then this is your ticket. Right, but if not, then 6700 is definitely that best APS-C on the Sony lineup. But just to let you know, there are options out there. You don't have to stick with I don't have only to the Sony if, if if you're not locked into the system. But if you are, you know, I'd like to try that camera. But man, this is a hard this is a hard Momo. ticket to beat. And I, I just Brilliant. wish Sony would come up with something that can compete with this at this price. You know, a new Sony full frame like an A7C, but they're not going to release it at $14.99. You know they're not going to do that. So, but Momo, it is what it is. All right, I'll let you guys go. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Canon R8, A6700, which way are you going to go?